So today I want to go through and explain a little bit more about strength training and the importance of it, why it's better than cardio for fat loss. Um, so just kind of a little bit longer format into explaining just some of the benefits of strength training in general. Now, see we, we often recommend strength training and cardio because cardio will burn calories when you do it, you know, so will strength training. So if you give the example of if we're doing say 30 minutes of cardio, you burn say 250 calories, you know, from a run. You know, with that, if you're using you know, any kind of tracking device, you're gonna be wary that a lot of times they're inaccurate. So we don't really know exactly, you know, if it's just, you know, kind of a watch. You know, it might say we burned 500 calories, but we might have only burned about 200. So if we, have, if we take this 30 minutes, we've burned 250 calories, you know, if we're doing a run. Now, to get the same 250 calories from doing a run another time, your body adapts. So you have to run a little bit harder. You might have to run 35 minutes or you have to run faster to get the same benefit. Or if you want to burn more calories, of course, you have to run even, you know, longer. So the body comes adaptive, you know, with that. It responds, adapts, it gets better. So therefore you have to burn more calories in that same amount of time. So therefore you have to go longer. You have to go harder each time. So you're gonna be chasing yourself. So yeah, but with that, once you've done the exercise, the benefits of that, you know, are zero afterwards. So therefore you only burn the calories during the workout. So therefore when strength train when you do strength training, you're actually burning calories, you probably burn a little bit less calories by doing the actual training, but then you'll actually burn more calories after. So when it's called epoch, you know, excess post oxygen consumption. So therefore, after you've exercised, you can continue, your body continues to burn calories about 48 hours after your exercise. So that depends on your, your mass, the amount of muscle mass you have, but you'll still burn calories afterwards. So that's why your strength training is very important. You know, you know, for this, your body is broken down, your muscles, you know, when you, you kind of tear the muscles, fibers down, and therefore building them back up, so you're still burning calories. And you know, with that, you know, it, it's not really, don't worry about how sore you are, that has nothing to do with it, you know, how good the workout is, you still, you know, you can still get a good workout without being sore. So, that being said, as well, we want to, the more muscle mass you have on your body, the more calories you burn to rest. So if I was a magician, boom, I give you 10 pounds of lean muscle. 10 pounds of lean muscle burns about 500 calories at rest when you're sleeping. Of course, we lose weight, we lose calories through expanding through air when we sleep. So when we are resting, we are burning calories. When we sit on the couch, we are still burning calories because we got strength and we have more muscle. That's why performance strength training trumps doing cardio and you know depend on how many strength training workouts you do a week as well if you do one strength training a week it's probably not it's, you're going to maintain because you're just going to every week you're just going to kind of spin the wheels chasing you and keep going you're going to be sore every time you're going to keep you know doing the same kind of thing so you know if you do two times of course you're going to be 50 more results than that if you do three times you're going to see you know 30 percent more results than doing three times if you do four you're going to see 25 percent more results than doing three times a week so we want to get at least two, three to four is ideal. And then it just kind of depends how much, you know, how long, it doesn't have to be more than 30 minutes. As, you know, if you're doing 30 minutes, you just got to be quick. You, you're getting through as much as you can. If you have an hour, you could take more time, but the main goal is building strength so that you have that resistance. You know, if you're doing 15, 20 reps or something, that's not real strength training. With strength training, I mean, we have to build muscle. So we're looking at, you know, 15 reps or less ideal. Of course, the lower the reps you go, the higher the weight, the more strength you will burn, you know, you'll build, you know, with that. So that's what we mean by strength training is getting that low rep range. This is going to be the muscle. After you build the muscle, it's going to burn, burn calories, which will then will burn fat. So the muscle will burn the fat. So that's why you want strength training. Of course, you can, you can lose weight. There was a, a recent study showing, you know, one person does cardio, one person does strength training. They lost the same amount of weight. But the people, and they're both in a calorie deficit, the people doing the strength training lost zero pounds of muscle. The people doing, I think it was a 12-week study, the people doing cardio lost about nine pounds of muscle. So they lost most of their weight from muscle and water. Whereas people doing strength training lost weight through fat. So 
Anyway, I hope this explains why we do strength training rather than cardio. Any questions, please, you know, shoot me a message and I will get back to you personally. Hope this helps. Have a great day.